The Smellyfant by Gavin Buckley. At the top of the hill, standing all on his own, is a curious creature a long way from home with a boulder-sized body on short, stumpy legs and a thin, hairy tail all covered with pegs. He has short, little tusks and huge flappy ears and sad little eyes crying sad little tears. It's Samson, the smelly fint, a glum little chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. He stays well away from the elephant fun as the herd romp and stomp in the warm summer sun. They hop and they skip, they jump and they shout, but one sniff at his whiff and he's always left out. So Samson just sits as they giggle and grin. He watches them play, but he doesn't join in. For this is a smelly fint, a lonely wee chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. Now, I know what you're thinking. He just needs a bath. Kersploosh, kersploosh. A good scrub in the tub and he'll be on the right path. But it isn't that simple. And he'd rather stay dry. He's terrified of water, but no one knows why. So Samson just sits as they paddle and swim. He watches them splash, but he doesn't join in. For this is the smelly fint, a scared little chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. But later that day, as they snooze by the pool, the sky turns black and the air grows cool. A rumble of thunder, a flash of white light, and all of the elephants jump up with a fright. But Samson just sits as they tumble and spin. He watches them run, but he doesn't join in. For this is a smelly fint, a puzzled wee chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. The clouds crash again. The herd huddles low. There's no place to hide and no place to go. As the storm rumbles on, the rain starts to fall. Samson just shrugs. This isn't scary at all. But the herd's in a fix. What a pickle they're in. Then with a flick of his tail, an idea comes to him. For this is the smelly fit, a clever wee chap, three pegs in his trunk, and none at the back. The rain rattles down, the wind whistles by. He pegs up their ears in the blink of an eye, as if under a blanket, all cozy and warm. The herd snuggles down, now safe from the storm. The rain gently fades, dark clouds drift away. Birds sing in trees, and the sun lights the day. But where is the smelly fint? That brave little chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. They search high and low until suddenly they see a curious little creature. No, could it be? He has a boulder-sized body on short, stumpy legs and a thin, soggy tail with no sign of the pegs. He has short, little tusks and huge, flappy ears. It's Samson, they cry amidst 
welcoming cheers. For now, he's a hero. That rain-washed wee chap with a knot in his trunk and the sun at his back. And as it sets over the hill, they all join in song about the tale of the smelly who got rid of his pong. The end. 